Hey guys, it's 4 a.m. in the morning. We are starting out there really early because we want to show you what a day of a coffee roaster look like. So check it out. We visited our friend Roman Nedli at his micro roastery 50 Beans here in Brno. It's still a small roastery and Roman is the only person roasting coffee here. Let's see how does his daily work look like. This video is sponsored by Cropster. They write software that help people to make better coffee. Okay, Roman, so, so what's the plan for today? So today I'm roasting 26 batches of coffee. Each batch is 12 kilograms, so there is from six to seven hours of roasting ahead of us. We will uh, prepare green coffee into the buckets and we will roast it batch by batch. Okay, so now we know the plan. We will roast over 130 kilos of coffee, so let's get started. So I initiated warm-up process and it will take 30 minutes uh, to warm up the machine uh, to the working temperature. Now we are going to wade in the coffee to the buckets to make it ready for, for the roasting. Here I have the green coffee, which is roasted only this week. The main storage is Samuel Airs, because the heat that is coming out of the machine is not good for the shelf life. Twelve kilos, two buckets. Once all coffee that should be roasted today is pre-dosed in the packets, we can start loading coffee batch number one. Now I'm going to transport coffee to the, to the hopper and I use this elevator to do it. Then I set the charge temperature, so now I'm waiting until it reaches 240 degrees. With the first batch, machine is going for 100% because it's not heated enough. I use the first one to three batches to heat it up. I roast basically the coffee which is roasted darker where the charge temperature and overall heat is not that important. These are meant for the fully automatic espresso machines. And then I have like six or seven minutes where I do nothing. I just watch the coffee as it's roasted. And towards the second half of the roast, I have to adjust the burner because the coffee becomes uh, more fragile. And I have to keep this in mind to not to burn the coffee and to get the best out of it. After 12 minutes, when the desired temperature is reached, I drop the coffee to the cooling tray when it's chilled in three minutes, so it's not roasting anymore. And then it travels to the color sorter. We get rid of the Quakers, which are underdeveloped beans, which can be identified only as roasted. Now it sorts the beans. These are the healthy ones, and these are the defects. This is the coffee you don't want to have in your bag. Then the coffee is uh, filled to the bucket and packed to the packages. Now, the difficult part of roaster's job is to remain focused for a long period of time. Roasting 26 batches take about 6 to 7 hours and every mistake can potentially damage coffee. Roasting software is one of the key components of keeping the roasting consistent and preventing mistakes and Roman uses Cropster, which is a sponsor of this video. Yeah, so I have the Cropster since the beginning of my career as a coffee roaster and it's really a helpful tool. Not only it helps me to track all the temperatures and curves, I can also manage a green coffee stock from here. I can also do quality control with it. So I have all in one place and it's very precise, very easy to use and it's also part of my success, I guess. And it's not marketing sentence. Yeah, it's true. That was the last batch, right, today? Yeah, it was the last batch for today. So now we'll uh, cool down the machine 
It has a button for it, so I just hit cool down. We have to wait 12 hours until the machine is completely cold. So I will just hoover it, but we have to clean the color sorter. So after the coffee is roasted, we have to pack it for our customers, which is done in the neighboring room. Roman's girlfriend is also a member of the 50 Beans team and while he was roasting, she already came and started to help with packaging the coffee. Packaging area or how do you call this room? <laughs> yeah, packaging area <laughs> might be the word. So after the coffee is roasted, we charge it to this machine. It weights the coffee. When it's in the bag, we check the weight again. Then the coffee is sealed with this nitrogen sealer which flushes the bag with nitrogen and then sucks out the air. Usually the coffee will be dead after one month and with nitrogen it tastes fresh after two months. So we can be sure that cafes sell the fresh coffee. Right now, Roman operates two roasting days during the week. Tuesday is when he roasts most of the coffee and then Friday is dedicated more to the wholesale customers who might run out of coffee over the weekend. Okay, so now the coffee is packed and it's ready to travel to the customers. And now the coffee is ready for the delivery. So this is the sample for quality control. From each batch we fill it with coffee and then after five or seven days we cup it. We taste the difference between batches. I can see how the coffee ages, how it changes, if it's good or not. The main baseline if to sell the coffee to the customer is roast profile and this is just to verify that everything is going well with the coffee. When does the day of the coffee roaster actually end? After we pack all the coffee, I go to do some crossfit. Then after a workout, I get back to the roastery to do some office stuff. I do some invoices mostly, answer some emails, because during the rose day, it's uh, not much time. And then I go to bed because I woke up very early today. Well, DP, thank you very much and thank enjoy you. the rest of the day. <laughs> okay, so there was over 10 hours that we spent inside of the roastery learning all weekend about what happens behind the scene. And we hope that you enjoy it because we learned so much. And if you want to check out more coffee roasting content, so these are two videos you should watch.